Hi, this is Nick with Michigan Pool News and Aquatic Source. We're here at West Bloomfield High School uh, doing a series of videos about their state-of-the-art renovation that they did here last year. I'm standing in front of their new chlorine system. This is a next gen. It makes the chlorine on site using salt. This was a facility that used bleach, so this is technology uh, that they were interested in because they didn't like other forms of sanitation. They didn't like bromine. This is a, a, a district that has a pump room that's in the middle of the, of the school, so they didn't want to be schlepping heavy buckets of Cal Hypo. So we settled on making uh, the chlorine themselves. It's a, it's a fairly complicated machine, it looks like, but the, the essence of what it does is we have a brine bucket over here and we have a 30 gallon salt storage with using salt that you can buy at the hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, they all carry the salt that this thing uses. It doesn't use the expensive $9 a bag pool salt. It uses water from the swimming pool and it puts it through this cell that you can't see in the back here and makes chlorine on demand when the controller needs it. Uh, the really cool thing about this unit is that it's making chlorine and neutralizing the pH of that chlorine before it injects it into the system. We have a stenter pump down here that's pumping a little bit of acid into our storage container right here and a pH sensor on the top. It makes sure that that pH is where we want it before we inject it into the swimming pool. Uh, the benefit of that is if you have a facility that has alkalinity problems, we can actually start to control alkalinity based on the pH of the chlorine solution that we're injecting into the swimming pool. Uh, one of the other neat things about the machine that I think is, um, is something that doesn't get talked about enough is the fact that it's producing chlorine that's far different from the chlorine that you're using uh, traditionally. Traditional chlorine is about 12% uh, st in strength. When you get out of a 12% pool, you feel dry, you feel crusty, you, you feel like you need that shower. This machine is actually making a chlorine that's far less aggressive than that type of chlorine. It's 0.08 to 1.2% to depending on how high we turn the machine up and you don't get that feeling. You, you, it's, you're swimming in softened water essentially. We get bathers constantly that are telling us about the huge difference after getting out of a, a chlorinated pool with 12% and getting out of a, 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 a saline system. So we're really excited about this machine. I know the district's been pushing for it for a long time. They've gotten great feedback on it. And as, as we continue to evolve in Southeast Michigan and people are asking us questions about saline, this is definitely a unit that people should be looking at. It doesn't require you to carry that 5,000 parts per million in the swimming pool. You're actually able to control the amount of saline you want in the in the swimming pool from this machine right here. You can have as much in the pool as you want or as little in the pool as you want, which again is a big benefit to people that don't want to have that salt taste in the pool. So um, yeah, I, we think this is a great unit. It's got a, a long way to go. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh yeah, Andy's gonna turn it on. Here we go. So it's gonna wait for the, uh, the regen cycle. It's basically just waiting for the controller to call from chlorine. It's got a delay after it gets that signal, which is important so that I don't have the thing chattering on and off, blowing out contactors. It's going to wait 30 seconds after it gets that signal from the controller. You can override that on the screen. There we go. We just received the signal. Okay. I overrode it. You're going to see the graphs that appear here. I don't know how close that we can get, but it's going to show you the salinity that's in the actual water based on your set point. It's going to show you the pH of the solution that's in the tank. And then these two bars over here, when the unit actually starts producing the, the chlorine, you're going to get the DC volts on the cell itself as well as the amps. This system will make the equivalent of 20 gallons of 12% liquid bleach in a 24 hour period, which for most high school competition pools in Southeast Michigan is a really, really good balance. 20 gallons of chlorine is a lot of bleach. So it's at 100% right now, firing away. 
The maintenance on the, on the unit's pretty simple. Once a month, we gotta plug in the automatic pump to clean the cell and flush it out. No disassembling the machine. No worrying about pulling cell stacks out. It's fairly maintenance free. And right now, it will run as long as it needs to run to satisfy demand. This, ma this magnetic drive pump, not like your standard pool pumps out there, it is designed to run 100% of the time, and we've had very good success with that pump, not burning out and having seal failures. All in all, this machine is designed very well, and again, we're excited about it uh, going forward in the state of Michigan. Thanks for watching Michigan Pool News.